What's up everyone, welcome back. Today we are working with this really nice summery vibe. There's not much contrast at all, so those shadows and blacks have quite a bit of a fade and those highlights are also kept quite flat. So there's maybe also a bit of an orange and teal cast to the image and quite a bit of grain. So we're going to be working with this image right here, trying to recreate its edit. So if you guys like this, if you like his work, I'll be putting all of his links down in the description so you guys can go give him a follow down there so make sure you do that and yeah let's get into Lightroom see if we can recreate something pretty awesome like this all right so turning this one into this one here very first thing I'll do is add in quite a bit of warmth into the entire image and exposure and now as if you look over here you can see we don't have much contrast so those blacks they're not that dark and those highlights aren't that bright. So I'm going to bring down the contrast a lot. And as you can see, our highlights still look really bright. And we're going to bring the highlights down quite a bit as well. And as you can see, you now get that detail back. And shadows, we want to go for a really bright look. So... I think shadows, get rid of a lot of those shadows. Uh, whites can come down a little. And these blacks can come up. So we are looking really flat right now. I probably went too far with taking out so much contrast. But I'm going to add in quite a bit of contrast with the color curves. So let's jump into that. Okay, so that's the red, blue, red, green, and blue channel done. Here's the before and after of just those curves. So what you do when you do the curves is just start with an S curve, bring up the highlights, maybe a little mid tones out a little, and shadows down, and then you just try to match it up with the green and the blues until you get like the same color as before you even started the curves. So if you do it wrong, you'll get something like that. And you'll be just getting way too many greens in the mid-tones because you took too much reds out. So we're looking pretty, pretty close, but I wanted to add in a bit of warmth into the mid-tones and a slight green sorta. So uh, did that by just leaving a bit more blues out so we get a slightly warmer tint especially in the mid-tones after taking a bit of blues out so you just do an S curve and try to match it up with the colors at the start if that's what you want and then if you want to go for a certain style say more warmth take some blues out okay so going Moving on to trying to do a fade. So we'll go back to this one. Now, as you can see, the image is really flat. So what I mean is the highlights aren't too bright and there's a fade in those blacks and shadows. So we'll do that with this curve. Okay, so that adds in a bit of flatness to the image. We get that little bit of fade in those shadows in that. And what I might just do is add in the grain now since it's such a, such a heavy effect on the image. So lots of grain. We'll need to bring the size up a bit. And then roughness. That looks good. And 
Now we'll just touch up some of the settings here. So we want a bit more contrast. Probably didn't add enough in with the curves, but we can do it up here. Uh, highlights. bit more shadows as you can see a bit darker in those areas think that looks pretty good um, right might bring down the saturation a lot and then bring up the vibrance and vibrance does pretty much what it says it does it's gonna affect the highlights and midtones a little more than the shadows so saturation just affects the whole image equally where vibrance will just those brighter colors and skin tones and that will pop a little more let's add in a touch of dehaze touch clarity maybe and uh, we're looking a little desaturated now but we'll add it in up here so actually before we do HSL we have pretty warm shadows if you look down here so I just want to add in some warmth into the shadows first and then it's only subtle but a good idea once you add in uh, warmth into the shadows to add the opposite color into the highlights just to balance it out so add in a teal it's very subtle but you can definitely see around there And then it keeps those highlights nice and cool and not too warm right let's move on HSL maybe I'm gonna take down the sharpening a touch okay so let's warm up these yellows make them a bit more of an orange And as you can see, our skin tones aren't quite saturated enough. So we could, say, bump up the oranges. But I want to make them deeper and richer. And it's quite hard to tell the difference between saturation and bring down the luminance. So I'm going to bring down the luminance. And that's just going to make the skin tones that much deeper. rather than trying to add in saturation go do luminance see how that just looks a bit better than that uh, all right so we want to go for the real vibrant summer look so bumping up the luminance of the yellows is a good idea so that's the brightness of the yellows and the yellows is pretty much the light hitting everything so the edges of everything are really going to pop so that's what we want uh, just a little bit of greens back there um, let's come back up here 
these reds, so pretty much just her lips. Touch more orange. Keep, keep those blues nice and teal. So aqua a little more towards the blue and the blues a little more towards the teals. Let's bring up the saturation of these reds. There's not many purples, but it's just a good idea to bring them down because if this was ever applied to another image that did have purples, they would stand out way too much. So just bring them down, sort of sort of level with the other ones, if not more. Uh, let's deepen the reds just a touch. So it has quite a strong effect. Leave it there. Um, pretty happy with that so yeah I think that's about it we will just leave it there so yeah you guys make sure you go give him a follow down in the description all of his links will be down there so if you guys like his work you should go down there and show him some support and yeah let me know what you guys like and what you want to see more of and who you guys want to see that way i go and reach out to them and ask them to send in a photo and do a tutorial on them but yeah thanks for watching guys leave a like leave a comment check out the presets if you're liking these tutorials and i'll be catching you in the next one cheers